What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Thomas and today we are going for Supreme X Undercover Live Cop for week six, spring summer 2023. Let's look at the actual retail prices of this collab. So we see here, we do have the final full official prices of the Supreme Undercover and week six drop. You can see right here, puffer jacket, almost 700. Lots of expensive stuff from Undercover. So we're gonna keep it pretty simple today. We're really only going for the black sup tee. Honestly, I think it's probably the best t-shirt clothing item to go for this week in terms of potential resellability. We also have the bobblehead, which I'm not gonna go for, but I do think that could be a really good item, you know, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of the bobblehead personally. So we'll see, I might be eating those words in a few weeks, who knows? Supreme is still quote unquote dead. So we'll see, we'll see, right? The rug to almost 370 bucks lighter and the Lupin shirt, Lupin the third. So we're gonna be going here on Supreme's website, refreshing the t-shirts page. And if you guys enjoy live cop videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel on my way to a thousand subscribers and YouTube partnerships. So every new sub counts, appreciate all the support. What are your guys' overall thoughts on week six for Supreme? Honestly, I think the undercover collab was really, really good. And I love a majority of the pieces. Like the moto jersey is sick. I really love the battle dress uniform, the jeans, of course. And overall, like I wish I could buy more, you know, the waist bag. But at a certain point, it's like how usable is all this stuff when it comes to price versus, you know, how often I'm gonna wear it, that kind of thing. And when it comes to investing in new clothing pieces, you really have to think about, you know, how often am I gonna wear this? Is it really worth it? And just getting the newest thing on the list is never always the best answer. I don't know what I'm saying there, but hopefully you guys understand that we're just keeping it simple and going for the black t-shirt. And it is eight o'clock. So we're gonna refresh, boom. Add to cart large. Keep shopping. I probably could get that bobblehead. Do we want to go for it? No, 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 no. We're going to check out. We're going to check out. Oh. I don't think it's necessary. I really do not. It would be fun, though. It would be fun, though. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Visa. Just kidding, it's a MasterCard. Um, okay, 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 go through that. I'm pretty slow on this, 68 bucks, 97 cents. I think it's gonna be a pretty easy dub. Yeah, it's gonna be super easy to get that. Not too uh, surprising. I am curious though to see what all the pieces look like on the store. We'll go through and click all of them, see which ones end up selling out. There is the undercover puffer jacket. Supreme Undercover, I do love that tag right there. Next jacket, what do we got here? Battle dress, uniform, the BDU. Studs on that look super sick. On the back too, really dope. Let's see, next jacket. Just checking if any sizes are selling out. This is the one that we had, it is a brain, I swear to God. Does it say like logo? Yes. No, it doesn't, damn it. Water resistant though, pretty neat, pretty cool. Next jacket. There is that three in one trench plus puffer. Pretty sick piece right here. Piece builder, love that, 500 bucks though. And that is the end of the jacket. So we'll keep shopping and we're just gonna do a little look-see, a little check rooney out on all of these designs here. We do have the new sweater. What else do we have? The short sleeve flannel, Peace Builder, Undercover Supreme. Very cool. I meant to hit next shirt, not keep shopping. But we'll go back here. We got the anti U rabbit shirt design. Don't think that will sell out for a bit. Next sweatshirt, we do have that zip up hoodie with the Egyptian guy on there doing his thing with the bricks. 
definitely a less hype item right there. There's the crazy uh, flipped design. And now we're back at the home screen. What else do we got here? Come on. Show me some sold out. There's the Moto jersey too. All sizes still available. It is just crazy though, like what like what has happened to the Supreme Drop, you know? Like in the past, all of these would be selling out. And it is kind of, you know, it's a little sad, a little disappointing because getting the dubs is just easier and easier. So it kind of means a little bit less. And maybe that just is just where we're at, right? So it's going to the real fans, not so much to the resellers, which is fine, you know? That's really okay. It's just a shift. I saw like a post on Hypebee saying like, is Supreme really dead? And it's still saying like, obviously they make a ton of money per year, but just the hold and like the, um, the weight of, of being on top is just kind of shifted a little bit. And Supreme is less, you know, the kings of streetwear and more so just like an established label at this point. That's, you know, all the people and all the trends have moved on to the, the smaller, you know, social media brands that pop up with the crazy trends and the style, which, you know, I'm never really, like, really felt compelled to get into that stuff. Just to me, wasn't something that I needed to do or felt like I wanted my style to go because I don't like see it post on Instagram and, and want to change my style from that. Still seeing a majority of these shirts in stock too. The face tee. I still think it'll sell out though because it does have the the Supreme kind of font on there with the logo. And it is a clean shirt. It is really dope. And then the loop in the third shirt. Some black sizes are selling out. You know, we lost the XXL. Still have the extra, extra large on that. Pretty sick shirt too. Not even gonna lie. Yeah. That might have been a better shirt to get. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when all things come to rest. And we'll just look at the rest of the collab. We might as well. Here's these jeans, which they did sell out. So maybe I was fucking wrong that the jeans were the best thing to get. Damn. 228. Yeah, I definitely would have rocked these for sure. With the flannel. The zipper this is a really cool piece and i see why it sold out because it is super unique yeah damn so maybe that was the play shouldn't have listened to drops by jay god damn what else do we have here we do have the battle dress uniform cargo pants matching still available obviously 448 pretty expensive there's the sweat pant next pant track pant with the skulls on it the brains that's a great logo. It is brain and crossbone, right? We got that right. Hell yeah. Love to see that. I had to wear the uh, undercover shirt today from 2016. Obviously, for the good luck. Didn't look like we really needed it though. No gods, no masters. Spring, summer 23. Pretty cool hat. I do love the studs in the front too. It looks sick. I think the black one is, is really cool. We should said Supreme or Undercover on the back though. That's definitely a missed opportunity. Especially for 58 bucks, you'd expect there to be like stitching on the back that said Supreme or Undercover. That is a little disappointing, I will admit. And finally, we do have the cherry hats, which are just gonna be sitting there. 48 bucks, keep shopping. Wish it would take you, leave you on the same page when you click keep shopping. And there is that sweet utility bag, the waste bag, 138 seven velcro flap compartments this will definitely do well long term i think even if it doesn't immediately sell out it's certainly a unique cool military item i actually used to have a military backpack and it used pretty much the exact same type of strap with a contrast stitching on the back so it looks very legit which is cool and it looks extremely u.s army certified and then finally, we do have the bobbleheads and the rug still sitting at 11. Okay, the bobbleheads, bobbleheads are sold out. I'm just not a fan of the bobblehead personally. So we'll see. I might be eating those words in a few weeks. 
bobbleheads are sold out at 1107 and the zippo lighters are still there so maybe i should have gone for a bobblehead of all things but you know we made our decision and that's what we went for what do you guys think of the undercover drop let me know in the comments it's been your boy thomas and i'm out peace